Hello guys, this is Arvind here from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this amazing video on Power BI Python integration. So let us quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. So as you can see, first we will discuss the introduction part wherein I'll talk a few points about Python and Power BI, and then the process of data analytics. Next, we will discuss what exactly are the benefits of integrating Python with Power BI. Okay, and the final part of this session is nothing but a demo wherein I will show you how does this work. Okay, pretty much simple. So before we move ahead, I want you guys to subscribe to Mind Magic's YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So the first point here is what exactly is Power BI? So Power BI is a user-friendly solution developed by Microsoft to handle the business analytics services like data visualization, sharing of such data through your company's data line and connecting various data sources from across the world just to enable the end users to edit, modify and use this data for their own presentations, dashboards and reports. So this was a quick definition of Power BI. On the whole, Power BI is nothing but a mixture of both SaaS, which is nothing but software as a service and a desktop application that uses the properties of the cloud to store the various data and to be accessed by various users for multiple reasons. Okay, so this was a quick overview of Power BI. I hope you guys have understood what exactly is Power BI. And next we will talk about what exactly is Python. So Python is an interpreted object oriented high level programming language with dynamic semantics. So the popularity of Python is so much that it has various applications ranging from, you know, game development, web development and you can also use it for you know uh, artificial intelligence and data science and then it has another applications of data analytics as well okay so this is the huge scope of python programming language so this was a quick overview of python okay so the part that we are going to discuss now is about data analytics okay so python is also widely used for data analytics so what exactly is data analytics? So data analytics is the process of exploring and analyzing large data sets to make predictions and boost data driven decision making. Okay, so data analytics allows us to collect, clean, transform the data and derive meaningful insights out of that data. So and now if you talk about, you know, the process of data analytics, so there are there are multiple, you know, steps that need to be followed in data analytics, such as data collection, data preparation, then you have data exploration, and then you prepare a data model. Okay. And once you have the data model, then you know, you apply your uh, algorithms on the data, with the help of which you can derive insights out of the data. And the final step of data analytics is nothing but result interpretation. So this was an overview about data analytics. So, you know, in Python, there are multiple uh, libraries which are available for data analytics, such as you have NumPy, then you have Pandas, you also have Matplotlib, SciPy, Scikit-learn and so on. So let's just move on to the next point. Okay, before that, we will discuss why exactly we can use Python for data analytics. So Python is easy to learn and understand and it has a very simple syntax. Okay, and this programming language is also scalable and flexible. It also has a vast collection of libraries for numeric computation and data manipulation. Okay, and Python provides you with libraries from graphics and data visualizations to build plots. Okay, so this thing of data visualization can also be done using Power BI. Okay, but Python in its own has also, you know, it is capable of doing such data visualizations. Okay, and the last point of Python is it has a broad community support to help solve whatever queries that you have. Okay, and now the point that we are going to discuss is the integration of Python and Power BI. I mean, the benefits of integrating Python with Power BI. So Python is a powerful tool to create visualizations and Power BI is great at creating dashboards. These dashboards will contain multiple visualizations that will give you a complete view of your organization's KPIs, growth, metrics, and so on. So if you build a Power BI Python integration, then you can make use of capabilities of both Python as well as Power BI. Okay, so both are, you know, powerful in their own terms. Okay, like both have their own advantages and features. But if you combine both of them, then you know, you can get the best out of the both of the tools. 
like Power BI and Python. Okay, so I hope I'm clear with this point here, the benefits of integration of Power BI and Python. Okay, and now I think we have discussed enough of the theory part. And now let's just move on to the demo part. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, these are the steps that we are going to follow in this demo. So first of all, we have to install Python and Power BI on your system. Like obviously this is a prerequisite for this demo. And then, you know, first we will try to run a Python script in PyCharm or, you know, a Jupyter notebook. Okay, so first we will check that a Python script runs well in these environments. Okay, you know, like the ID, which is PyCharm or, you know, you can also have a Jupyter notebook on your system. Okay, so if everything is okay, then we will try to run the same script in Power BI. Okay, so these are the simple steps that we are going to follow. Okay, so now let us just go to the uh, command prompt here. Okay, so I've already installed um, Python on my system and just to verify this, let me type Python, Python version. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, the Python version that I'm using is 3.9.2. I hope you know you guys are uh, able to see the font here. Okay, so I hope this is visible to you now. Python hyphen hyphen version. So Python version is 3.9.2. Okay, so apart from this, you know, we'll be needing a few of the Python libraries, such as, you know, like we discussed earlier in the previous slides, like we will be needing pandas, matplotlib, then scipy, numpy. Okay, so you can install this uh, these libraries on the command prompt as well, or you can, you know, do it in the, uh, like I'll be using Jupyter Notebook, so you can install it there as well. Okay, so let me just quickly show you how do you install it here. So the command for that is pip install pandas. Okay, so once you hit enter, so it might take a few seconds. Okay, so here it says requirement already satisfied. Okay, so guys, I've already installed pandas, numpy, matplotlib and scipy on my system. Okay, these libraries, I have already installed them. Okay, so now let us just go to the, uh, you know, the, I'm not using, you know, PyCharm, so I'm using Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so how do you start Jupyter Notebook? So the command for that is very simple, simply type Jupyter Notebook on your command prompt. And you know, uh, once you hit enter, uh, the Jupyter Notebook gets opened in the web browser. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so let me just click on new here. So it will ask for this Python 3, click on Python 3. And this is your notebook. You can rename it here, like my script. Sorry, let me just rename it here, my script. Okay. Okay, so guys, uh, what are we trying to do here? So, you know, uh, I have this uh, data set from, okay. So guys, what are we going to do here? So I have this, you know, IPL data set. Okay. So, you know, from the year uh, 2008 to 2020, we have, you know, ball by ball details of IPL. And we also have uh, one more file here. Uh, these both are CSV files. And, uh, you know, there's one more file, which is IPL matches. Okay. So for, for those who don't know what IPL is, you know, IPL is a very popular T20 tournament, you know, like, uh, which is organized in India most of the times. Okay. So there are various teams in IPL, such as, you know, you have Mumbai Indians, you have Chennai Super Kings, you have RCB and so on. Like there are eight, eight teams as of now. Okay. So this is the data of IPL. Okay. So what we will do is we will just try to, so let me just show you this file, IPL matches. Okay. So, you know, we have uh, these fields here, ID, city, like the venue for the match. And then you have date. Okay. Then you have player of the match, like who was the man of the match or the player of the match for that particular match. And then you have venue name. Okay. So was it a neutral venue? 
for both the teams you know like uh, normally uh, what happens in ipl is uh, you get to play in the i repeat so what happens in ipl is i repeat okay so this is neutral venue and then both the teams and so on so this is the data set that we have okay so here uh, let me just check the rows okay so here it says it has 817 rows okay so this is the data set that we have okay so what we will do is we'll try to you know import this data on our jupyter notebook and you know we'll try to run a simple pie chart like we will create a simple pie chart on our jupyter notebook okay so let's just open the notebook here okay so uh, the script is very simple there are you know only seven to eight lines here and the first step here is to import all the libraries that we want import and as as pd okay and the next library that we want it is matplotlib so what we will do import matplotlib so in that particular library we want this pyplot okay so matplotlib dot pyplot as mlp okay so we just run these steps first okay so these steps have been executed and not i repeat and next what we do is we import the csv file that we want okay so for that uh, let's just have a variable here my data okay and the the step to import the csv file is very simple pd dot read csv okay and uh, here you have to specify the path of the csv file okay so the path of the csv file is it's very simple so just click on properties okay and let me click on okay so once you have copied the path you just need to okay so now the first step has been executed so now what we will do is we have to just import the data into a variable okay so let me type my data here and the step to import the csv file is very simple pd dot read underscore csv okay and then you have to specify the location of the file okay so here it is we want this file ipl matches 2008 to 2020 so the location for that is very simple just copy it here and paste it here okay and then you have to you know also write the name of this file okay so instead of you know this forward slash we have to use a backward slash here so let me just change it okay so let me just run this okay so here it has shown us some error it says no such file or directory C uses Arcmagix. Okay, 
so guys uh, we didn't mention you know the extension of the file in this name okay so dot csv is the extension and now let's just try to run the script I repeat and now let's just try to run this line here and now it says this has been read successfully I repeat so this statement has been executed successfully okay so let's just try to you know run the one more command my data so this is nothing but uh, our file has been like it has this variable my data has the file okay so let me just get the information of this file okay so this is nothing but a data frame in pandas my data and you know it says it has 816 entries like there are 816 rows and 17 columns okay so these are the various columns okay so i hope you guys are understanding what are we trying to do here okay so now guys what we will do is we will you know simply try to create a pie chart wherein you know we will get to know like uh, which team has won maximum number of matches in the history of ipl okay so the command for that is you know uh, there are a few lines which i've already written okay so let me just copy these lines here okay and uh, we will try to paste them here okay okay so as you can see here we have created a variable wherein we have you know used this uh, since uh, the IP. okay so guys uh, we have a temporary variable here wherein you know we have selected this column winner okay from this uh, data frame my data okay and then we have counted the number of wins okay and then we just have plotted them you know first we require labels for the pie chart and then you know we just have used this mpl.py chart mpl.py command wherein we specify the count and the labels okay and here mpl.title shows the most number of wins in ipl and then you type this command mpl.show to show the pie chart okay once i click on run Okay, guys. So you know uh, we have this information of this uh, CSV file into a data frame, my data. Okay. So now what we will do is, you know, uh, we'll have to, you know, find out the, you know, the team. So guys, now what we will do is, we have to find the winner, like the team who has won most number of matches in the history of IPL. Okay. And we will, you know, find the result of this using a pie chart. Okay. So the script for that is very simple. You know, I've already written a script here. So let me just copy it. Okay. And let me paste it here. Okay. So it's a very simple script. So first we will create a temporary variable. Here we will select this column, my data and the winner column, which is nothing but this column. Okay. And then we will count the number of wins from that temporary variable okay once we have that you know once i repeat once we have that we will create labels for this pie chart and then using this command mpl dot i repeat so using this statement mpl dot pie we will simply plot the pie chart and mpl dot title shows the title of the pie chart okay so let me just check if everything is okay here Okay, so everything looks good. And now let me just try to run this cell. Okay. So guys, as you can see here, this is the pie chart that we have plotted. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this, this portion is the biggest among all other portions. And this portion is for Mumbai Indians. Okay, so Mumbai Indians has one maximum number of matches in the IPL. Okay. 
So we have successfully run this Python script here. And now what we will do is uh, we will run the screen. I repeat. So now what we will do, we will run the same script in Power BI. Okay. So let me just open Power BI here. Okay. So I have this Power BI desktop installed on my system. Okay. Okay, so now what we will do is we will first, you know, try to get data here and I click on data and here you have to click on get in this get data. We have to type Python script. Okay, so this is the Python script that we have and click on connect. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll try to run a few. So just to get the data, what we'll do is we'll copy this line, my data, and we will paste it here. Okay, click on okay. And it might take a few seconds. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, the Power BI desktop has been opened. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll click on this uh, in this visualization section, we'll cl click on this pie. Okay, so it says enable script visuals, click on enable. Okay, so guys, you can see here the Power BI desktop application has been you know, we have opened this application, Power BI Desktop. And now what we'll do is we will click on get data in this section. Okay, so click on more. And here you have to type Python. Okay, so Python script, connect. Okay. So now here we will try to run these few lines. Okay, first we have to import the libraries and then we have to you know import the file. Just copy it and paste it here. Okay, so click on okay. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this data, my data, which is a data frame. Okay, so let me just uh, select this data and click on load. Okay, so this will load this data in Power BI. Okay, so as you can see here in this field section, we have this file, uh, my data, data frame. Okay, so it has various columns, as you can see here. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to, you know, simply click on from visualization, we have to select this Python visual. Okay. Okay, so now it says, you know, we have this thing here, Python script editor, wherein we will, you know, uh, paste the remaining lines of our script. Okay, for that first, you know, we have to drag this winner and drop it here in the value section. Okay. And now it says paste or type your script here. Okay. So the remaining part of the step, we'll just copy from here. 
and we will paste it here. Okay, the same script which we you know executed on Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so let me just try to run the script. Oh, it's uh, it is showing us some error. PD is not defined. Okay, so let me just again you know type the initial lines as well. So that was a mistake that I did from my side. Okay, so now we have this twice. Okay, now let us just try to run the script. Okay, so guys, as you can see here, we have this data frame from pandas, which is my data. And now we have to, you know, create a pie chart here using our script, Python script. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll simply click on visualization. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have this field. Okay, this uh, place is it's for, you know, creating a pie chart. And now we have this Python script editor wherein, you know, we'll be writing uh, the previous script that we used in Jupyter Notebook. Okay, before that, you know, simply just drag and drop this winner in the value section. Okay, so, and here in this Python script editor, we have to simply copy paste our script. Okay, so let me just copy it from here. Okay, and this is the remaining part of this script. Okay, so same set of steps that we followed earlier. Okay, so now we will click on this run script. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, the pie chart has been created. Okay, the same pie chart that we created in the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so you know, this is how we run Python scripts in Power BI. Okay, so Python is powerful in, as discussed earlier, Python is powerful in data analysis. And uh, Power BI is powerful in creating visuals and reports, or you can also create dashboards using Power BI. Okay, so this was the overall procedure that I just wanted to show you. Okay. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on integration of Power BI and Python. I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Okay, so if you have any queries related to this session, then you can write them in the comments box below. And my team is here to help you with all your queries and doubts. Okay, so that's all from my side in this session. Thank you so much.